Oh, good morning YouTube and uh, welcome along to another episode of Silver Fox Travels. Now, as I mentioned in uh, my previous video, there's going to be a few changes made to the Cub. And uh, first and foremost, it's going to be the saddlebags. These I got last summer, uh, June time. And uh, they cost me £40 on eBay. £40 including the... Uh, um, delivery and to be honest they were a proper false economy they're not really that good the uh, leather is starting to deteriorate already in some places on this particular one i'll show you the photographs but it's starting to rot in places and uh, the brass buckles are furring up something awful no matter what i try i can't clean them up um, I've washed the leather in just ordinary soapy water and it still doesn't uh, come up any, any better than, uh, than it possibly could. So those are going to be consigned to the bin, which is just down there. That's one and that's the other. Right, <clears throat> so you might ask, what have I got to replace them? Well, I got on to um, Hitchcock's and uh, I've bit the bullet and I've bought myself a set of pannier rails and a set of panniers, uh, which uh, arrived just the other day and they're here in this huge, great big box. So, without further ado, let's get this opened up and we'll see what's inside. Okay, so let's see what we've got in this uh, big box, now that I've managed to finally get it open. The box within a box, in fact. So we have... One pannier rail. Looks to be in uh, very good condition. There's no scratches that I can see or anything, so yep, yeah, that's good. And there's the other pannier rail. Check that out. Yep, that looks spot on. So that's two pannier rails. Bag full of fittings. More cardboard. <laughs> and then in the bottom of the box, we have the delivery note. More fittings. And what looked like a couple of saddlebags. Let's just put this box down over here for a minute. Right, so let's have a look at these saddlebags. get the one out. Now that really looks the business. Royal Enfield written on there. If you can see that. <coughs> written on there nicely. Nice canvas bag. Leather carrying strap and a handle on top for carrying it about. 
that looks absolutely perfect right so I'll put these away to one side and uh, we'll have a look at getting all this fitted onto the bike quick slip of coffee Okay, so the first thing I've got to do is remove that bolt at the top of the uh, um, suspension spring and this bolt here, uh, well, sorry, no, this bolt here just behind the uh, rear uh, foot peg for the uh, mounting brackets. This one's a 17 and that one's a 12. Here we go. Now, I've got to be careful because there's a nut at the back of that, which uh, would have just dropped and I could have lost it on the floor somewhere. Right. And swap that over for the uh, 12. Test fit, make sure that it uh, all marries up. Yes. Right, there's been a bit of faffing going on here. Uh, these are actually the bolts that come with the packaging. I was putting the old bolts on and that was incorrect. So I've replaced these two, or rather that one. This was uh, totally new. And there's a bigger bolt to go in at the top here. So. I'm going to change that over in a moment, but first I'm going to get the bracketry on at the back end here. <clears throat> this is definitely one of those jobs where you need more fingers than you actually have. And one or two extra hands would be useful as well. Right, what a palaver that was. I've managed to change that one over with the space that I've required. I've uh, just got these now to tighten up and uh, the pannier frame is on. So let's just get that done. Just a test fit. And that's going to look okay once it's done. Right. Let's stop at that and I shall uh, show you what it all looks like once it's all done and finished.
Right, well the saddlebags are on and as you can see from the photographs I think they look absolutely fantastic. I'm really pleased I got them. Uh, it was quite a bit of a fiddly job to get it all done right and um, of course as I didn't read the instructions properly not that they were particularly uh, informative but uh, it did help to, uh, to have a look through. I got the nuts and bolts all on nice and tight now everything's uh, all ready to go and uh, I'm looking forward to, to getting the bike out on the road. So uh, let's get out there and have a look and see what it's like. Well hello again YouTube. Uh, this is now uh, the following day. Got it all bolted together yesterday and by the time I finished it all and what have you and got cleaned up it was starting to get dark so I decided not to bother carrying on. But anyway, here we are, we're out on a ride now and uh, I'm heading for Squires and it's nice to be out, it really is nice to be out. It's not so cold so I haven't bothered with the heated gloves. I have got my gold top socks on though because uh, I think my feet might get a bit chilly but yeah so far so good <laughs> although it has started to rain the saddlebags were uh, quite a job to fit I must admit they took a bit of a doing but uh, once I got them on certainly once I got one side on the other side was easy to follow and uh, I've got them both hooked up nicely all tightened up and uh, I have to say that the instructions that came with it were very very basic they could have been a lot better but uh, anyway as it happened this morning I had a look online and there was uh, a, a PDF file by uh, by somebody else, not Hitchcock's, which actually showed a proper breakdown of how to put them on. And uh, as it turns out, <laughs> I pretty much followed the instructions as they had it anyway. So all's well. Okay, so I'll pop a bit of music on now until we get to Squires and then uh, we'll have a bit of a walk around the bike and uh, I'll show you what it looks like. Cue the music. Okay, so there she is, complete with the uh, saddlebags on the back, uh, looking really good. I don't know if it's an optical illusion, but looking at it, the one on the left seems to stick out slightly more than the one on the right. Anyway, it looks very good as it is. 
come around this side well, it doesn't look out of place at all does it let's get around the other side there we go look at it from this side Up to the top. So there you have it. That's the uh, saddlebags on the uh, Royal Enfield 350 Classic, and I don't think they look out of place at all. So that's it. The uh, saddlebags are a thing to stay. I really like them. And they're a heck of a lot better than those rubbishy ones that I had before. So all I can say is if, uh, if you got some on the strength of what I suggested when I originally got them, then all I can do is apologise. Uh, the ones I got, definitely not very good. Maybe yours are better. Uh, I hope they are. But I'm going to finish it there now. So I'll end it in the usual way by saying look after yourselves, look after the people around you, and until next time, bye for now. Oh, and I'm following a truck full of manure. I'm going to get past this as soon as I can.